up at six and ready at seven. Could I have been up at five and ready at six? I guess we will never know. Only thing I have left to do is to eat my breakfast and get moving. I've got a couple bottles of water because I think this first half of the morning is going to be a little dry. But it's cool right now and the mosquitoes didn't get me. So that was a nice campsite. Uh, the mosquitoes didn't get me. Although there are some biting flies that seem to get everybody else. Uh, got two videos edited and export it which is good for time management because i think safeway has wi-fi i might be able to upload a video while i'm waiting for my fried chicken and while editing the videos i realized i passed the 1200 mark and i didn't see a marker so yay 1200 and uh the big thing videos edited and did not fix the strap on my fanny pack yet and that's going to have to be a priority because everything sits differently without that on. And it's going to be rough to do. But it's a pretty morning trying to get that lens on my camera clean. I'm going that way. Hey. Kind of spot I have to stop and be very careful because if I slid... I'd probably end up all the way down there. I wouldn't bounce, I would just slide. Coming from over there. So, trail branches, and this might have been the old PCT, but this way follows a ridge over around like that. And there's not a lot of water. The current PCT goes down. And then I think it goes around. And they come to the same spot. This way goes down to like a car camping campground. It's Friday. I'm going to try this way. Although this way I do have to share the trail with mountain bikers. There. Like mile 12 oh something, but there's a marker. All right. coming from that way and I didn't film coming up because I lost the trail for a little bit that's why it's good to carry a compass even if you have GPS and I'm going that way I go I think I'm gonna go around the other side of that peak over there I will try to get a shot for you Going that way and coming from over there. Going over there. So down there, that's Deer Lake, and the official PCT, I think, is just right over on the other side of it. I, I sat down here, because I'm only a few miles from water, so I'm drinking some water, and I've been making good time today, but then I checked and I had cell service. 
so I'm not sure how much time disappeared on me there. It's actually strong enough. If I was camping up here, I could probably have uploaded a video. But uh, you notice a lot of tape, both orange marking and this. And a cyclist went by and stopped, talked to me for a little bit. Said that uh, the reason why I'm seeing so many cyclists is that tomorrow there's a big race. I think it was like the Dannyville something and he said that instead of getting back on the PCT, if I just stuck on this trail for about 15 miles, I would get to Dannyville, right to the town. And that tomorrow, it's going to be a big party. And I was tempted, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get back on the PCT and head to Quincy and go to Safeway and get a bucket of chicken and a Fountain Diet Coke. And after that, I'll figure everything else out. Darn it. I was supposed to have a little downhill. And I started off down that bike path. Uh, but that wasn't right. Uh, I was supposed to keep on going on that dirt road. So now I get to walk back up. I'm glad I checked. I came to a switchback. It's like, I don't remember seeing a switchback on the map. And yep, I was on the wrong trail. So, looks like just a big mud puddle. But this is the outflow from uh, outlet from Summit Lake, which I thought I was going to get it. I might get a shot of it here in a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to find a spot where it's flowing and it's clear. Grab me some water and then get back to hiking. Here, the lupin is almost white, almost colorless, slight purple, and the blooms are very small. Coming up from that way, I guess I didn't really say anything about it whenever I got back on trail, but I've been on trail for a couple of miles. Going up a little climb and Got rocks. Thought it looked kind of cool. So, middle of July and low elevation. I just assumed I was done with the snow. I think I've got more coming up too. I don't like doing an extra hundred yards, but I didn't drink a lot of water at that last spot, so I'm gonna go check it out. Came from over there. I'm going that way. Here it is. Kinda wish I had brought my scoop, but that'll be alright. Going that way. And I've got a view again. I'm coming from that way. So here's a water source. Just kind of all over. And I haven't even talked about having dry feet for a long time. Where I came up here and filled up earlier. Lost my balance and stepped right in there. So I've got one wet foot and one dry foot. So the water source was just a little ways off trail over there. I reckon it was the little Jameson Creek. And I bet the spring was really nice, but I don't have to go walking all that far. So, it's 1.30. I've done some pretty good miles. I'm getting ready to do about a mile and a half of very gradual up. Only like 300 foot. Then I've got a few miles of down. A couple of miles. Then I've got a mile and a half of steep up, like 
600 foot per mile up. That'll slow me down. And then it's several miles of downhill. And I bet by the time I get that far, it'll be about nine and a half miles from here. I'll probably be ready to make camp. It's also warm, but I don't think it's as hot as it was last week, which is good. I'm drinking a lot of water. Would you look at that? Another view. Trail's going to go over there. And I'm coming from over there. Coming down from that way, that uphill was really no problem at all. Got a new view. I'm heading down that way. Go down, there's a spring. Actually, I'm going to stop and drink the water that I carried from the last water source. It seems like no time at all, or, you know, a couple hours, five more miles to go down. Yeah, guess which one I'm going to check out. That's nice right there. So I'm coming up from down there, that's where the spring was at, and then next two miles, it looks like I'm going to go up about a thousand foot, and I'll be fine. And then four miles, uh, after that, I think I will start looking for a campsite. It's 3.30 now, so I can do six more miles. Heading up that way. Coming up from there. And again, there's nothing to see on this side. Mosquitoes haven't been too bad. But a bunch of these little yellow biting flies have been getting bad. I don't think I've gotten bit by one yet, but a lot of other hikers have. And I've killed quite a few. Alright, still got about a half mile of uphill to go. Just had a nice long break with a beautiful view and good conversation. Now I'm ready to do some downhill and find a place to camp. It is, oh, it's about a quarter till five. I didn't look to see how long we sat. So it's six o'clock and I think the campsite, I, I think there's a campsite in about a half mile. And I was planning on getting water at this water source. And so whenever I first saw it, I was like, oh no, but there's enough water for me to fill up for the night. And man, the, the time flew by. The hiker that I'd talked to during the break, we just kind of walked and talked and it's really nice sometimes, you know, seeing different people on trail. If you don't like them, chances are you're not gonna have to see them too much. But then if you do like them, there's still a chance that you're not gonna see them too much. So I'm gonna fill up with water, I'm gonna run up. And then, like I said, it's mostly downhill, half mile. Hopefully find a nice, quiet campsite without anybody else in it. Set up camp and see if I can fix my fanny pack.
it's a good thing that it's all been downhill because I think I'm almost to where that campsite is supposed to be and this is right there this isn't on the map either so I've got three bottles and if the campsite's right around this corner I'll just come back and get my fourth one here I think that's going to be my spot right down there it might be close enough to that other that big creek that I didn't need to worry about water at all now I'll just find the best way down to it it looked a little bit bigger or at least the flat area did from up there but now that I'm down here because the trails up there I'm staying it's enough room for me it's not like I need much and then the creek is right there so I didn't need to carry any water at all I'm not sorry set up camp get dinner made and see if I can fix the fanny pack if it's obvious that I can't then I will just get started on videos so I can maximize my time in town